We're back again in Kyle's shop. Earlier this morning, you guys didn't see it, but I was actually uh, teaching Kyle how to math. He had two more videos. <laughs> doing the tube front end again today. Kyle is making all the mounting points for us to actually get the tube set up on. This looks kind of weird right now, but it'll make sense, I promise. Um, Kyle likes doing weird things. I found this toy in Danny's room and uh, took a Oh. Put of it. Oh, okay. It just happens to. Well, what did I do with that toy? I'm not sure, but it was stuck to the wall. Mm. Oh, brother! <laughs> Holy flame! Here? Hmm? I welded down here. Uh, that's called. That's called heat penetration. Oh my gosh! Why is this so amusing? <laughs> Dude, we have some flames under here. <laughs> you vape, bro? What time is it? Three. Four been here a good amount of day. Got a lot done today. Got, got a bad case of the Mondays again. I was just sanding down this entire roll bar right here and Kyle's actually gonna throw them in another harness bar right going from right here to over there so the harnesses don't have like any tension on them because back here the harness would come diagonally into this slot so we were gonna end up throwing a harness bar from right here to over there. And then after that, I'm gonna sand that down as well. And I'm actually going to paint it today. Tell the people what you're doing. All right, so over here, we got this tube to your end, right? We're gonna mount the tail lights up. We're gonna mount this bumper up. Got the arrow catches. Cool. Got the locking ones, because that's all they had. Um, I'm putting this back. What else am I doing? <laughs> What's up guys, TJ Hunt here, L at Kale Fab here, I <laughs> can't even talk. On some real stuff, plated this up, got our base plates, got that side started, super thin material so it's kind of hard to weld, and it's old and crappy. Where's the other one? Oh, here we go. It's pretty much a nice tube front, you're going to have more than one tie-in, so we're throwing this guy in there, behind here, it's going to get welded up like that. Then this guy goes like right there-ish, ties in down here, we gotta fix some fitment. So it has a little bit of a, um, you know, whatever the word is I'm thinking of. Oh, and, stability uh, behind yeah, it? Yeah, stability. Like then we're just gonna move right into mounting shit up, throwing some tubes at it. Everyone comment who wants to see Kyle's channel start. I feel like there's no real fabrication guy on YouTube, so. Danny started me up, started me up. Technically, there is one. Actually, it's only on your channel, huh? Yeah. So, fun fact: when I actually crashed this thing, the day that day, I was actually supposed to paint the roll bar, the cage. That never ended up happening. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna we're gonna use the Scotch Brite on the bar that Kyle's about to put in. We're gonna have some primer in there first, and I'm gonna be doing a black. I think it's semi-gloss black. I'm not sure. Might end up using the thing that TJ has at his shop right now because this doesn't come out good. Might end up doing it again. I was thinking about making a completely separate video for this and that the crash and everything that went into it because there's a lot to say, but I'm actually just gonna put a blog post up on Wheelwell, my Wheelwell page. So I'm gonna put a link in the description of that. I will not be making a video on that anymore. It took a lot of effort to write, so I would like you guys to read it. So go ahead and click that link in the description. It is my viewpoint or my understanding of what happened and why everything happened. And so go to the link in the description to read the blog post. Thank you so much to Wheelwell for sponsoring the rebuild of this car. It means the world. Oh, well, is that where you want it? <laughs> is, this right? is, is, is this where you want it? <laughs> yeah, we could have totally done it next. Ah, uh, Brady. Fresh new bar for the harnesses now. Now it won't be awkward when we're in the car. Now I'm actually gonna start painting all this. I've scotch brighted like the entire surface over a million times, so let's start doing this. Can I break this hole from you? It would mean everything to me if I do. Why is 
actually kind of looking dope, but nah. We're going with black. Doing that in a second. Primer first, then black. Give me all this name's broke back me out of. Broke your back. Oh god, you're funny. If anyone was wondering, yes, Kyle did do something today. He drew a penis. It's like he knows what he's doing. Why does it look It actually does. That's so primer. Yeah. So you'd want to do a white over that. Yeah. The start of something great. So notice how this is in the middle on this side. This is normal. This is a little bit pushed in over here, so the bar has to go over here. Like, looking at this, I mean, this is just primer, but it looks so good right now. But we're actually going to go over the black. This is semi-gloss, if you guys can see that, and we're going to go over it, hopefully it turns out well. Thank you so much for this. Looks freaking awesome. I like black. I like how it's semi gloss. The white was tight too, though. But I think the black came out pretty good. Kyle, you you do things? Oh my god. That's enough. Is this back in play? You want to put a triangle in the. Oh no, you got you got a play. Oh, hey. Was there a guy in a movie like Mr. Minagi or something? Yeah, Mr. Miyata. Yeah. Mr. Miyata. <laughs> oh my god. I have been doing with this for the past three days and I can't take it anymore. So what do you got here, big guy? It's a stock SR20, T28. I think it's got a Maxima mass airflow. Mass. You're running 14 pounds of boost in this bad boy. Yeah, uh, Subaru 520cc injectors. Okay. Uh, it's tuned by Jim Wolf to run 91 octane and mm -hmm. you can run 100 octane. A hundred, uh, do you get it from over here? Yeah. You, dude, like, that's so expensive. It flames a little bit too. Once, once you, you only get, get a couple like gallons there, right? Or do you yeah. fill up on that? Okay, when I'm going to go to the track or if I, if I go to Adams, it'll be like I'll throw in like two gallons. Okay. That makes it in. And then when I'm at the track, I'm like, ah, I'm going to be poor. So just 100 all day. Oh my gosh, dude. 100 octane around us is literally $8.70 something cents. Oh, Eli. Eli, dude, thanks, man. Thanks, dude. Woo! It's actually coming together. I can see it now. Oh, another distraction here. No, you're good. There's like 12 minutes for two. We're a good pain in the ass to the earth. So I won't touch one for two grand. So Kyle's actually gave me this intercooler right here, the big black one. This is my stock one. I have a question for you guys at the comment section that I actually know what you're talking about. My car boosts very late in the RPMs right now. Would this big intercooler really drastically change how fast my car boosts up? That's my question. Answer down below, what do you think? Uh, that's gonna be the end of the day. I know I said I was gonna go to premium auto selling today and get that rear diffuser for the Mazda Speed 3, but that's gonna actually be, I believe, Thursday or maybe even Friday of this week. I left a little early, so Kyle is still actually working on it right now. It's 10 o'clock. I was there for nine hours today, so the process isn't super fast, but it will be getting done by tomorrow. So I'll be filming the rest of the process tomorrow. Hopefully when we get in there tomorrow, a lot more is done. Hopefully it's like a, a lot of it is mounted up and it is almost ready to go. I am still hoping that nothing else is wrong. I'm really hoping that the, the radiator is okay and not leaking or anything from that. And there isn't any other coolant leaks. It was just coming from that, um, Still hoping that coolant leak was only coming from the thermostat housing, so I guess it's a lot of testing after that. I gotta get the car aligned, I gotta get those new tires put on for sure. And yeah, so if you guys like the video, please like the video, it does a huge thing for me. Liking the video does a lot for content creators, so if you could please like the videos of the people that you actually support, that means the world for them, I promise. And uh, throw a comment if you have any questions or anything, or if you want to know any more about the crash in my words. Um, go ahead and check out that wheel well link down below. And that's the end of the video for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. I see